Yeah, first of all, many thanks for this lovely start. Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't bring my, uh, my ex-teammate, actually. We have to talk in relationships in beach ball because it wasn't me who has been successful at the London Olympics. But uh, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about the look like of my former partner. Um, today, I'll, I'll have a 20 minute speech about innovation. It's probably a bit uh, unusual that a beach volleyball player or ex player is talking about that. But as uh, you heard before, it has been our signature card of playing beach volleyball. And I would call it uh, we didn't have any other chance to be successful. We have to be or had to be innovative. Um, can I somehow click this? Uh, does it? No? Ah, oh, starts. Yeah, um, sure, as, uh, as Alex mentioned, um, We've been to the London Olympics and we've been successful, but there was a time before and I don't know any other athlete, no matter in which sport, who does uh, uh, a good or who has a good result at the Olympics on his first attempt. So it's been on us. Same thing, I've been to the Beijing Olympics first in 2008 and it was a nightmare, it was a disaster for us. And uh, I want to talk honestly, um, there are others, but what we did over there, we qualified after a two years period of time and we were seated number three, the, which is the overall result in two years and we ranked 19th. Uh, we didn't make it out of the pool play phase. It was a disaster. Um, sure, I'll, or call it nightmare. Um, there was, uh, I was 26 that time and I still had that dream to take it another time, try it one more time and uh, somehow make it better. And there was uh, Beijing in Asia was not my favorite uh, Olympics by the result and by other topics as well. There was a big uh, crisis around it. It was big discussions if there might be a boycott. So I really wanted to feel this Olympic dream and I, I did it again. So I started to team up with uh, a new team and I had new goals and was, as Alex mentioned, it was uh, bring record my team uh, against the US and Brazil. Um, to give you a little bit of an overview of the hard facts, that's just me, but I just uh, don't want to be so selfish. I want to talk about my team. It's me who made it to the uh, London Olympics 2012. And definitely we've been successful, but it's another guy. Actually, we faced him in the final in London. It's Emmanuel Rego. He's the so-called king of the beach. His career statistics is, is, statistics is, is incredible. Many, many wins. He participated in all Olympics in our sport. We are a pretty young sport, five times Olympics. It's incredible what he achieved in his career. So you just have a short overview of what I had to deal with uh, trying to make it better in the next four years. The only chance of our team that time was the factor of know-how. We actually had three coaches involved in our team. It's, a, it's actually a beach volleyball team is the smallest team in the world. Two players and three coaches sounds pretty funny, but uh, it was like this. And there was one guy, his name is Hans Vogt. He was one of the three and he was uh, yeah, outstanding for the character of know-how. And he actually told us when we put our, all our know-how and all our uh, uh, team fitting together. He said, we are forced to be innovative and we'll be copied in the way of our game. That was the first time I got in contact with the, wo with the word innovative or playing beach volleyball another way or putting it on another level. Um, at that time, I was not sure what he's actually talking about. So we, we started our four-year period from Beijing to London and it uh, yeah, started pretty successful. Somehow this doesn't, there it is. So in 2009, our first season of these four years, it was, uh, it was hilarious. We, we became world champion, we holded the world record and we actually had four wins on our overall tour, which is actually what proves you as an athlete that on the, on the point where it counts to be on top, that's what you need, that's what you prove yourself for. And uh, 
that suddenly stopped after 2000, 2009. So we came to the point that from 2009, where we've been world chairman, world ranking leader, and so on, we didn't win any more tournament, which was uh, mentally not that easy. And we came to the point that we had a big change of game, and that's how we started or where we have forced, forced to be innovative. It's been our coach again, who uh, actually I'm talking a li little bit about the balls. Is uh, the the left one you see has many many floating characteristics. In beach ball, was a bit like in soccer. Some of you might be familiar with that. It's Cristiano Ronaldo who actually shoots that ball in a very characteristic way, and the goalkeepers actually hate it. So if you hit on a ball with a nice impact, that ball can float. It doesn't need to spin. That's what he's trying to do when he has these free kicks in front of the goals. Goalkeeper hates it, the scorer actually, he loves it, and um, same thing happened with us, they changed the ball, it's because of marketing and to sell balls after a couple of years, you just need to uh, change these characters of balls, and they had a completely new setup of that ball, and it was horrible for us players, because we, we haven't been involved into it, no one knew really how that ball will fly, how it will touch, and we just got a ball delivered by that company, Mikasa, and they said, here is your new ball. We don't know when we're gonna stop to produce it. You have to face it, you have to play with it. it. Was not so nice, but it's been the first time, actually, in our team, as we discussed it, being world champion with these characteristics of that, that ball, all these floating experiments we did, it was, uh, let's say, a shock, and we didn't really know what will happen and how our future will look like, because we actually made it to the top in our first year, and we were pretty uh, unhappy with that situation. It's been our coach, he's the only one who's been happy with it, because he thought like, oh wow, now we can prove how good we are, that's what he told, uh, told his other coaches, and finally we got a chance to uh, beat the big guys. The big guys are the nations in our sport, Brazil, US, and uh, some Asian teams are also pretty pretty good in our beach volleyball world. So we came to that point that we had to yeah, experiment with this new ball, with a new uh, setup, and definitely I'll give you some hard facts about, about it. The ball, the beach volleyball ball, has different characteristics as a soccer. A ball, it floats within a speed of 84 kilometers and has almost the same as Cristiano Ronaldo's free kicks. No, we, we were pretty sure, because we were facing the London Olympics, that it's gonna rain at our period of time, it was in August. And uh, yeah, we were not so convinced that we definitely put all our, or actually the most of our training time into this topic, because there were other innovative criteria which we also tried to um, proceed with, but we actually trusted our coach, and it's been him uh, who said this can be this could be the advantage for us. This can be yeah our chance to beat the big guys, and that's how it came. I mean, we started our training time. We made it uh, in the. We didn't win any tournament in these three years, but somehow we made it to this characteristics uh, and. There it is. That was the outcome, actually, of the London Olympics in 2012. And it, that's been the factor of being innovative, this time, in fact, with the ball. But what it proved us were um, these facts. Like, from my perspective as a player, it was... Uh, I had to make sure that I need the know-how and the innovative part on my side of the team. So, actually, we took that guy uh, which I mentioned before, our coach. We saw this change in game. Actually, it was, it, we were forced to change. Uh, we didn't have any option, but we, we saw it as a chance and a potential for us. We saw the start of uh, using and training. Um, no, in the start of using and training in our first uh, period, it was like more or less uh, the quality level lows up. That was, a, yeah, that was something we realized in these first two or three years of our last two years to the Olympics, because we didn't win any tournament, we still trusted it, but the outcome was pretty low at the beginning. 
And uh, yeah, we had to be sure that we're going to be copied by our, po our opponents, but we had some other advantages because we started this innovative way of playing a bit earlier. Yeah, and the other fact was uh, once we believed in, uh, we needed time and trust into this innovative thing. And we definitely needed uh, to have fun with it and some risk. That's my short speech about uh, the ball flying period of time in beach volleyball. Thank you.